teams advanced into the next round of the Edinburgh Cup last weekend, both Dunfermline and Arrow face off at East End Park for the first time in the league since the mid-80s. The teams did meet, however, in the 2013 relegation playoffs, where Arrow would come out 3-1 winners on aggregate, sending the Pars into the depths of League One football for multiple seasons. Since then, the teams have only met on one occasion, in the Scottish Cup, when the Fifers came out 3-2 winners on Clint Manninger in January 2017. Having avoided each other for years when it comes to the league, the Wasps and the Pars now find themselves just one point apart going into this game. Arrow started off their league campaign with two losses and two draws, whilst the Pars have picked up just one win on the opening day, with three straight defeats since then. Dunfermline will definitely be keen to get their season off the mark once again with a win in this one. Arrow would no doubt be content with a point going into it. Bring on the action. Right, it's game day. A free-flowing performance was what I asked for on Twitter. Here's what the replies had to say. Well, it's been pretty free-flowing so far. Teams have been flowing through our defence and the balls have been flowing straight into our net. Cheeky. But accurate. I'd settle for a clean sheet and a win. Fair enough. The players need to put a shift in and show the fans are up for it. Agree. Bottom line, I really want to see a win. Less bothered about how it comes about. Fair enough. David Buck Jr. Simple reply. FC. Mon the pass. And then a few other fans to say the chipping. Not going to happen today, winky face. And the guy's not even going to the game. Sound. Jake Hastie's going to run news rampant. Who? I went over my team in the Pars Roundup video last night. I'll go over it again, but I'll speed it up a bit. Two thousand years later. So once again, let's hear it for the black and white. Come on, you Go on. Oh. On the boys. Back right. Oh. Shot on target. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, back. Oh. Go on, get in back. Oh. Useless. Oh. Oh, I've not even got the energy to complain. I can't be honest. Someone for a free kick. Oh. Nape to there. What the f goal, man? What the f is that? Oh, come on, get a shot, man. Go on. Go oh. on, Andy. Shite man. Honestly, I've heard it's one of the worst days ever. Like, seriously, my head is absolutely banging, and I've just been ill for the last few hours. Ever since I got into the stadium, I've just had such a sad head, and 
with football again didn't help at all. We're so devoid of any ideas they know, the quality is lacking so much. It just seems like the players don't have a clue. I don't know whether you blame the players or the manager or just both of them because nothing's happening they know. We're so shite and it's that's just a plain and simple fact yet. We're getting saved by the fact that this team's worse than us they know and one of the teams that's actually below us probably deserved better than that today and that was Alawa. I was sarcastic at the start of the video being like you know who's Jake Hasty and stuff like that who's one of their players blah 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 but they were worth their point at least today and as I said they could have got something more because overall they probably had a better chance and I didn't actually get it on the video but they did have a few chances that if they had maybe a bit more clinical striker they might have put it away and got a win today. I don't know where we go for here I'm so confused in filming the new. I don't know where the next win's coming for. I seriously thought that today we'd just have too much. And we should have too much for a team like Alawa. No disrespect. But we didn't. And that's why I'm saying I just don't know what's happening next. <sighs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I need to go and have a lie down, man. In a dark room. <sighs> if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more of this type of content. I'll see you tomorrow with the last word. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.